Hello there, friends. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. This is Kathy, and I have kind of a big supply haul. I have books, too, but I think I'll split it. And this, I know, is late, but it's basically everything I bought in November. And it is just very difficult for me to film because I don't have a private setup. And I have a husband that now works with me outside the home, and which means he's home all the time. And when he's not home, we're at work together. But anyway, I'm going to try and adjust this so we can maybe see things. I don't know that I'll get this all the way out, but we're going to just, you know, roll with it. <laughs> like, I don't want to like push this over the edge of my table here. So, oops. Kind of straight. And I know it's going to wobble probably a little bit. Still figuring all this out. Okay, let's go. So first of all, this is kind of a hodgepodge. I've got things from Michael's. I bought things off Amazon, Walmart, Dollar Tree. I think that's primarily every place I got things. And I'm not going to remember where I got them. Um, also some from an online place called Marker Universe. So, and I will apologize. I have a sniffly nose. I noticed that in my last video and there's not a lot I can do about it. I'm not sick. It's allergies. It's my life. Anyway, first of all, I got these at Michael's. They were a dollar. They're actually meant to be crayon holders. So I have some random crayons that I stuck in them. And I have a couple other sets. I have the Pearl set and the Colors of the World. I'm not sure if all of those will fit in one, but just to make them a little safer and out of cardboard boxes, I got three of those. They also have these containers in this size. So I have three of them. Two of them are kind of buried. But on one of them, I have jelly roll pens. In one, I have sparkle pop. And this, you can see, has just miscellaneous items that I use in my coloring. We got a bunch of different, I think I have more. Not sure where all they got put. Well, if I missed anything, it will show up in the December haul because. Yeah, I've done that. Okay, let's go through some markers. We got a pack of Sharpie Electro Pop. These I'm pretty sure I got during Amazon, some type of Amazon. If it was Black Friday, Amazon Day, I don't remember. I have heard other people really like the Pen and Gear permanent markers, which are similar to Sharpie. So, um... I picked these up at Walmart. Okay, now I'm, I'm moving things underneath. I got some gel pens for a dollar. Got these from the dollar store or Dollar Tree, and they actually have decent gel pens. I thought um, these were kind of fun neon. I don't like that I can't see the level of the ink, but again, five pens for a dollar. I can deal with it. This is just for pure fun. It's um, a pen, <laughs> and it's just a regular pen, but it's my mermaid to-do list. <laughs> so that cute. It was 50 cents. Can't beat that. I have a set of zebra ballpoint pens. Um, I'm not sure. It says 18-pack plus bonus gel pen. I don't know which is the gel pen. Maybe this one? I'm guessing this is a gel pen. So these are probably just going to be ballpoint regular old pens. Um, pretty sure I got that at Walmart. They might work instead of like fine liner markers and stuff because they shouldn't bleed. I got these. Does anybody else have a problem when you're coloring with pencils? And um, it's because they're so small, they kind of hurt. So remember these old school things? I don't do a lot with pencils. 
So that's why I figured I just got these at the dollar store to see if they will make me like my pencils more or not. I also, ugh, okay, several, see there was that sniff again. These, I have no idea how they'll be. Also both, they were just in different packaging and had a couple different colors. These are um, from the Dollar Tree, so we'll see how good they are compared to the name brands. But again, this price for eight markers, if I can get a page done, that's pretty impressive. We have, I got several of these. This is what I bought from um, the Marker Universe site. So I got, they had a sale. So I got the full set of Jelly Roll Glaze, and I also got the, well actually I got two sets. So I got one I had ordered from Michael's earlier because I had some credit, and then it was on sale, so I bought a second set. Yes, I did. I bought a set of the Jelly Roll Metallic. I'm trying to get all the supply things out here. Seriously, the basket is too full. Okay, I think it just has books left in it. So, I'll start piling the stuff back in. I got, again, dollar store for um, my swatch book. And I have a color, a couple coloring books that, um, you know, have started to stay open. So, I kind of bought these as binders to keep them shut. I got two sets of washi tape. I bought both of these on clearance at Michael's. Thought they were fun. I like using washi tape. If you see my completed pages, I use it a lot on my um, borders. Um, oh, this I bought because I use these to label my markers. Um, I can show you what I've done before is washi tape. Like if I have some where I'm doing a set my lighting better or not um I would like put this so like this is number 14 in my um Sun Life drawing books but the washi tape is starting to fray and it kind of drives me nuts so instead I can write a number and these stickers should stick better it's worth a try then I have several sets of alphabet stickers all either from the dollar store or um, Walmart. And these are all for those this book belongs to pages because I don't like my handwriting. And um, I thought these are nice and small and cute and I can put my name in there. So I have several sets of those. I got some blingy blings. Um, again, dollar store. And this, I think, was Dollar General, actually. I used one of them. But I like to use actual little gems every now and then on the coloring pages. And these are not, I mean, they're 3D, but they're not super tall. So they shouldn't interfere with my pages. Okay, I actually have bags to the side of me. So I found these at... Oh, I'm not ready for you yet. <laughs> this one over here. So these, I have no idea. I just bought them at um, Dollar General. They technically should be in the December video, which will probably come at the end of January, the way things go. But um, I want to use them now in some of my Christmas pages. <laughs> so I got these. I found these, I think, were also at um, Dollar General. It's just three, and they are scented. So I'm hoping... They are, um, it says metallic ink. I hope the color is the color of the cap. I did get a full set of Sparkle Pops. I had ordered some individually. I did have to break into this because I needed to use a couple of them that I didn't have yet. And everyone who's used them before, you are correct. These are amazing. Amazing, amazing. Then I finally found at my Dollar Tree... The packs of glitter gel pens. And yes, what? they are amazing. 
Sorry, that was my husband. I told him I'm filming, but he forgets. So these are all the pack of the glitter ones. And then these are the metallics. I have been using this set of metallics and they are really awesome quality. Um, definitely if you find these packs, buy them. Um, they're, they're worth it. And they have, I mean, they're super juicy. Yeah. And don't even feel guilty if you buy them all. I didn't feel guilty. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I didn't. Here are another set. These are a little larger. Hold on. Okay. So I thought these would be really cute for like bubbles on um, underwater pages or mermaid pages, anything like that. So we got those. I have oh, a few more Dollar Tree. I have no idea. We should open these and see if they're any good or not. It was a pack of three little coloring activity books. Nickelodeon. Um, I only saw this one. Oh wait, no, they did have more. They were at the Dollar um, Dollar Tree up like near the checkouts. And they are these three little Oh, well, they have some games. They actually have some really cute pictures, which is decent. Well, there's some. You know, the paper is super thin, but oh my gosh, that one's adorable. I'm a cat girl, and this cat has diamonds. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cute. This I've seen like one of these books, which I know I've hauled before, like the Crayola ones. Um individually for a dollar so this was a good deal then flashback to childhood they had this pack the dollar tree lisa frank stickers it's got five sticker sheets they're pretty small stickers but they're your classic lisa frank and i like to adorn some of my pages with stickers use them for inspiration or just like um anywhere i think um jamie's little coloring recently talked about how you could put one like the middle of a mandala or anywhere really on your pages so lisa frank i oh, don't laugh at me so in the makeup aisle we find all kinds of things i did find two nail polishes that, well, now watch. Are they both going to be, oh, okay. As I say, are they tried out? Um, <laughs> I already used different nail polishes as accents. I thought, oh, a silver and a gold glitter. And then I got this. It's a silicone makeup mask applicator. But I thought it might work better. Um, I use, like, some glitter paint, that glitterific paint. And a couple other mediums that I thought this might be easier to spread it than a paintbrush because it wouldn't actually like soak up any of the product. I could just spread it around. It's gonna have to be a big area, but it could work. Then this is another thing I found this one at Dollar General. I actually do not have any twistable crayons. So now I do. And then I also have this cute little book, which, again, let's open it up. Ugh. Serious packaging. Crayola. Okay. Almost in there. Okay. Move that. See what the pages are like. It's, um, it's kind of a slippery paper thin but look it's only single-sided so I could use markers anything in here and it's all sloths and llamas those are really pretty cute these are really fun pages and they're nice and small you can see my hand it's not quite um it's not a full size I don't know if this is considered pocket size but 
this is fun. Okay, a couple more, a couple more. Got a couple biggies to bring up here. Um, <laughs> here's another set I found at the Dollar Tree. Did anybody else as a kid love the um, velvet posters that you could color? I'm sure these markers are not very good. But this is Disney Princess, and it has 14 posters. Now, the posters are not going to be very big. I can already tell. Again, had I been prepared. Oh, wait. Here, it shows them on the back. I don't have to open them. <laughs> we can get away from the glare. There we go. So these are kind of fun because they've already got some color. And then these, I think, are the velvet ones. And those are some glittery ones. And those are just nice little white so I can do the next time we have a Disney um, color along of sorts, I can do it. So it looks like they're all in here and it's perforated. So you got to break them apart. I'm guessing it's maybe more on a cardboard than a paper. But again, this was a dollar. And yes, I am over the age of three. So I can do this. Okay. So move the scissor. Oops, I totally bumped you. Okay, then we have a couple biggies. Now this, I actually saw Donna at Coloritaville share. This is from Color It. I will put the link in case it's still available on Amazon, but it was a crazy deal. You got both of their t um, packs, their regular, their glitter gel pen pack and their gel pans that are kind of a mix they have metallics and neons in their cases plus you got refills and it was cheaper than for sure just the two of them it was under forty dollars so definitely i already have these but now i have backups then i did some shopping on arteza and i did it i got the 2020, I don't know if this is a thing they do every year, but it is the holiday art advent calendar. So I'm actually filming a, I'm going to just open everything because my plan did not come through. I planned to do, I had bought an advent color, coloring book and I thought, oh, I'd open a door and then I'd use that on that page and film it. Obviously I'm this late showing you my November haul. So that didn't happen. But um, I will link in the video where I just tear into this and show you everything if you are interested in seeing that. And if it's still available or not, I will also leave the link down below. While I was there... Oh, do I not have them here? Darn it. I don't have it. Well, I also bought, because it was on sale and I had a coupon, the um, skin colors of the Arteza alcohol markers. But I don't have that with me, so I can't show it to you. Sorry. And maybe that was it, because that was my other big exciting thing to show you. Oh, they were right next to me. Seriously. So, <laughs> so pack 36, all skin colors. I cannot wait to start using this. Very, very excited. Um, I haven't used the Everblends before. And these are great <laughs> for the skin tones, but for some nature, I'll use them wherever. But I definitely wanted to branch out with my skin tones. So there, I'm pretty sure that is everything I bought. Which again, is a lot so okay that's all I got for you friends remember if you see these at Dollar Tree don't be shy especially I have been enjoying these in my like Christmas pages or doing like the lines dots and spirals a whole pen will be done in like one of the spirals for sure you might need more than one on the dots but um they're really good. You can tell. Can you see? I pretty much used up the blue. <laughs> it's pretty much gone. So these, again, I've been using the metallic and the sparkle. Amazing. 
So there you go, friends. Those are all my supplies. And I hope each and every one of you is doing well. And thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. This is a pretty new channel and I get so excited every time I log in and see my subscriber number went up. <sighs> Amazing. Such a great community out here. I am proud to be part of it. I'm trying to put something here that doesn't glare and I just keep building the pile. <laughs> Anyway, my dear friends, whether you are a sloth, whether you are a llama, whether you despise sloths and llamas, either way, you mean the world to me. Thank you again. And no matter what's going on in your world today, take a moment and just give yourself a little appreciation because you matter. You make this world better. And I am very, very proud and happy to call you my friend. <laughs>